me welcome to the show. Uh, he is a six-time Grammy-winning producer as well as artiste. And uh, this is, is this from Sister Rosa? You'll That's tell correct. us in a second. Uh, yeah. sh- uh, which stars the legendary Sonia Sanchez, who we've been mm. quoting a lot. Does it free us is mm. the question. Let me welcome Mr. Christian McBride. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. All right. So listen to the voice, too. <laughs> Coming in here. We, we, I can't well, you tell you what we're talking about. Right down the hall. Huh? You didn't know that, did you? You do a show I, here? Right down the hall. What's your show? The Lowdown. Oh. The Lowdown. Yeah, so kind of on me, Real Jazz. Tell mm. me about it. Yeah, it comes on every Saturday afternoon at noon. And, 12 noon. And what do you do? I have uh, I play duets with my guests, and uh, we have conversations. That wow. sounds dope. Yeah. Wow. So what, what do you play? Oh, man. Come on, Christian. Help me out here. <laughs> yeah, I, listen. I put, yeah, take I'm, a, I'm, take I'm, a guess from my voice. Play from your bass. voice? No, that doesn't, no. Because I'm looking at your lips, so I'm like, it's not the trumpet. No. It's not the, it's, what's that, well, Dizzy Gillespie? It's not whatever he played. Yeah, the trumpet. Right. Okay, because his cheeks, <laughs> he played something where his cheeks would Cheek blow muscles. out. Bless, yeah, you're bless not the playing heart. the clarinet because your mouth would be a little, dum, 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 you know, I could see. So I was, I was like, it's not a wind instrument. Mm-mm. It could be the piano, Mm-mm. you know, but you play the bass. You're like Mm-mm. a doom, 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 doom. Why, how did you get into that? Runs in the family. My okay. dad plays bass. My great uncle plays bass. Couldn't get away from it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were a little yeah. bo- knee-high to a, a grasshopper. Pretty much. And they had you, but the bass was probably bigger than you. Well, I, so I started when I was nine. I started on the on the bass guitar, and then when I got to middle school, then I started playing the upright bass. Okay. And uh, yeah, the bass was much bigger than me. What's the biggest challenge of playing an instrument that large, and, and besides carrying it through the airport? That's that's the biggest challenge, <laughs> just transporting that that bad boy, especially you know uh, flying. Mm. Yes. Do do they do you ever worry about them destroying your instrument? Well. Unfortunately, there's a rite of passage that it has to be destroyed at least once. Ouch. So that's happened to me. Mm. <laughs> How much does a bass cost? It depends. A you good know, one. You, you can, you can, they can range anywhere from. They're like cars. You can, you can get a a, a good usable bass for a couple of grand, Ooh. but then you can get a bass the like a cost of a of a house. A Ferrari. I don't have one of those. Okay, I was asking. <laughs> nor oh, nor do know. I need one. Okay, because you're see, that good. See, the music is here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. you should be able to get some good sound out of anything. Mm. We talk often on the show about music being the uh, conduit to our spirit and yes. to movement. Um, how does Africa show up in your music? Well, I, I think any, any person of color, this is already ingrained in mm. the music. Because people ask things like uh they, they talk about individuality in music i've always felt that you already are an individual being an individual or, or being yourself is knowing who you are and embracing that and being happy with that so how does africa show up in our music if you're black and you're from america it's in your music already whether you tr- whether you're aware of it or not mm. I, re- I remember like in, as a kid playing sports and they were like don't bring that street Stuff in street here, ball, you know? right? Yeah, right. is there is there a similar? Because I'm imagining that's what I'm really asking. Like, because I I think when we do things, that there's a soul to it that yeah. doesn't like they they go do 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 well, do 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 and you I, same notes, do, do, yeah, but <laughs> do, 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 the expression is. I gotta be honest, I I miss that street in a lot of jazz uh. these days. I I think at one point, uh, jazz prided itself on being street. Mm. Uh, then somewhere the tables turned, where uh, the focus became on intellectualism, which I don't have a problem with. But again, like being an individual, the music is already intellectual. That's right. That's so right. you don't need to overthink it and try to impress uh, the, 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 uh, the, the erudites. You know, you, you, don't, you don't need to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think there's so much intellectualism in just trying to groove hard. Mm. Yeah. Christian McBride is in the building. He has a show on SiriusXM. I just found out about it today on Saturdays. What's the channel? What's what's the number? Uh, what is Real Jazz? I think I it's no uh, idea. seventy something. Okay, seventy something. We'll look it yeah. up and we'll put it out. All right. Um, and you can follow him at McBride's World. There's no apostrophe because it's Twitter. Right. McBride's World. <laughs> you know, as, as you're talking, I, I've been trolled by people because I don't like jazz. 67. I see that. Sixty-seven. No, I don't. <laughs> At all. But what I do like, I like people. 
and yeah. I and I like music, and I don't think we should categorize music because there's some stuff that I like that might be jazz. Like see, Badu has all Miles in her first, you know, Badu. Right. That's that's jazz. We like. Uh, say that again. What song no, was that? I'm not. It's Badu. <laughs> you know, uh, who's on my list right How now? How come but, you all like jazz? It just because of what I said. No, to the no. I'm I'm such I'm intense. So I need driving. Like my my whole my whole aura and personality is not chill. I'm mm. the opposite of chill, actually. You, and need, I don't, some, you I, need some late coal train. Mm. Oh, okay. You need like some 1965 coal train. Yeah, I need that. Mm. I need something that's going to move, keep me. Mo- you well, know. you said intent. So like yeah. that 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 move you're making there, uh, I don't know. Maybe you need you need some Art Blakey or you need some, uh, you might need Bitches Brew. Miles Ooh, Davis. That, that sounds pro- perfect, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, Live Evil. That's the one you need. Okay, Miles Evil. Davis album called Live Evil. Okay, all right. Blast yeah. that in your headphones. You're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, Ooh. I, yeah. I can't, I can't do the, you know, the, the, the cognac and the snifter. Like the, like the, like the track you, you came played in. Or I was like, oh, okay. I will but, pass see, you, out. You need, to, you need to play uh, Rumble in the Jungle. That's more your speed. Okay. Now who's Rumble in the that's, Jungle? That's the that's the next track after Sister Rosa. Okay, let's call that up. Let's see. All right, <laughs> when when it's you're funky, is it funky? I think you, that's the that's the that's the movement for Muhammad Ali. Do you mm. live? Do you live in jazz? Do you listen to anything else, Christian? Oh uh, well, let me let me show you. What? Oh, I didn't bring it. Okay, um, just tell us because it's a live have you, show. Have you have you ever seen the uh, Mr. Dynamite, the James Brown documentary? Mm. So I'm in that. So James Brown was my hero. I played with him, and uh, he was somebody who I I got to know. And so, yeah, the answer to your question is I I make my primary residence in jazz, uh, but my birthplace was funk and soul. Uh, All right. When did you win your first Grammy? (laughs) Unknowingly in 2004. I got a a box in the mail from the recording academy. Stop it. And it was a Grammy. I said, what the hell? (laughs) And uh, it wow. was for a record I did with uh, the great pianist McCoy Tyner. I didn't even know I was eligible. I was just playing bass as a sideman on this wow. record. But that's when I started learning all the inside rules of the mm. recording academy. Wow. So they put all of our names on the cover. Wow. McCoy Tyner, Terrence right. Blanchard, Gary Bartz, Christian so McGrath. So that made us eligible for a Grammy. Wow. So you that got was a Grammy a big surprise. in the mail. Yeah. Didn't even know it. <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah. What'd you do with it? It's in the, it's in the crib. Okay, so now it's, <laughs> Next it's got five, five brothers. Yeah. It's got five sisters, brothers. Sisters, yes. All... Those other five I knew when I got there. Okay, because like, I, <laughs> damn it, that's crazy. All right. Pay more attention. So you just had a, this album, Sister Rosa, uh, came out February 7th. Yeah. yeah. The whole album is called The Movement Revisited. Okay. Mm. That's uh, what it says right here, too. A, I don't even read it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm going to do it. The Movement Revisited, musical portrait of four icons. Yes. Mm. That's too long. Ro- <laughs> well, you know, Rosa Parks, uh, Malcolm X, Muhammad Ali, and Martin Luther King Jr. Ah, Those are the okay, four icons. Okay. Yeah, uh, I maybe I do need to get a little jazz in my life. I'm watching um, l- um, Cherish the Day, and the brother has a record collection. I used to have a record collection because I used to DJ back a mm-hmm. hundred years what? ago. Horribly, horribly. I was a horrible DJ. <laughs> I have stories. You. But I had record collection, mm. the techniques, the whole nine. But he had this beautiful record player that was upright. Mm. Oh, yes. really? Mm. I was like, where did he get? Like, that would make me want to go back into buying vinyl yeah. just, just to play that. something on something. That's what that I've was. done. I'm yeah. almost vinyl exclusively back in the crib. What do you play it, it on, It just though? sounds better. Yeah. I, I got the a crackling in the... Yeah, I've got a couple of different turntables. I still got my old school Gemini that I use. Okay. I have an old wow. uh, Onkyo um, receiver, and uh, I just... Pulled out all my old records again, and I'm enjoying it. I like that. You you can you can feel the music better. I think from vinyl. Mm, mm. Look know? at it. Look at it. It does it. There's <laughs> like, something. Mm, I feel yes. like smoking a cigarette or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Christian McBride, where are you from? Philly. Wow. Born and John. That, did, did you know you? it. <laughs> That's the name of my album before this one. It was John. Cr- Christian wow. McBride's new John. Uh, okay, all yep. right. What part of Philly? West Philly. Okay, West Philadelphia. Phil- born and raised. That's it. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, go- growing up in Philly, you know, to play the bass is is a very you know, it's not like playing it's demanding. The flute. That's right. It's de- mm. You know what I'm saying? Physically demanding. And you have yeah. the body and the and the voice. <laughs> so you didn't get punk because musicians, you know, grow, <laughs> no. you know what I'm saying? Thank goodness, no. I never you know, got you punk. playing a you know if you're playing the flute or something, <laughs> if you're like eh, I don't know. All right. <laughs> 
you, you, navigating the space though, when did you know you were great? I don't think I'll ever be that because I'm I'm a lifelong student, mm-hmm. you know. Because I listen to people who I admire, you know. You listen to Duke Ellington all the way down to Quincy Jones to people like Wynton Marcellus. It's like I still got a long way to go. But you also are a teacher because you mentioned because as I was waxing poetic during the break talking about how jazz felt disconnected from yeah. my son's generation, it felt very white. You were saying you and your wife actually have a jazz program. Yes, for young people. called Jazz House Kids huh. in Montclair, New Jersey. And uh, that came about as a result of my wife doing some master classes in Newark. Mm. And uh, she realized a lot of these schools were getting rid of their music programs. That's right. So she had the foresight to start this organization. Wow. And so now kids from all over, well, it started out just from all over Essex County. And then it got to Passaic County. And I was got through the whole state of New Jersey, through some in New York. And we got students internationally now. I'm going to have to so, sign him up. What's yeah, your wife's discipline? Up. What's her... Well, she's a singer. She sings on. Uh, she's singing backgrounds on on the new album. Wow! And uh, she has four albums of her own, and she's sang on my two previous big band records. But did she uh, get a Grammy too? Uh, for the big band record, she got all the band members got a plaque, not a Grammy. Mm. Band's too big. Oh my god! Right, right, <laughs> a lot of male You could have had your wife's name up there, so she could get that Grammy in the mail by accident too. <laughs> Christian McBride. All right, so. How do people get in the program? Like, because I know Larry's put, getting the information. It's but... just come down and audition. Oh, mm. yeah, nice. It's a placement audition. Okay. okay, is there a website that they can go yeah, to? Yeah, jazzhousekids.org. Okay. Yep. Well, let's write that down yeah, and work. bring all your chillins. And they can listen to you every Saturday on channel sixty-seven. You said is it that was what it right? is? Yep. Sixty-seven. Okay. Yeah, real jazz. <laughs> <laughs> what time? <laughs> Twelve noon. Twelve noon. Is it live? No. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah, Twelve yeah. noon. On Sirius XM, channel 67, follow him at McBride's World, and you absolutely can come back because I demand that you bring the bass in, take yes, it ma'am. and put it together, and play for us. Yes, ma'am. I will. So I can get my, my jazz on. All right. All right. Thank you. 